Hi, and welcome to episode 12 of Sheep's Nelly Vanilla Experience. Yes, we're still on Tinkers, it won't be long this time, I promise you. I just wanted to go over a couple of upgrades I've done to the smeltery. So first off, we have a timer set up. So I have one on this side set to uh, 40 ticks, which is about two seconds. And this side set to 240 ticks, which is 12 seconds? Six seconds. Good question. It's 12 seconds. That's more than I thought. This one's a bit longer because it takes a while to empty out a full block's worth of uh, fluid. And this one doesn't take anywhere near as long. Um, it doesn't really matter how long they're set to. Like if we set this to uh, 10, for example, and we switch it on, you'll see it'll start the pour and then it'll just stop and then start and stop and start and stop. So by doing it at a rate that's probably enough to keep the flow going. Uh, it tends to just keep it a little bit quicker. You could try and fine tune this, but it does depend on what you're pouring out. Now, another thing I've done, and you might be wondering what's happening, is just underneath there is a hopper going into some hopper ducts, which leads into this chest. And you can just see there should be a fifth one any second now. Oh, that would have been really good if it had happened. There's the five. Uh, let me put this block back there. Okay, uh, something else I wanted to cover quickly is the reinforcements. Uh, so if we do this, and I am just going to quickly put that round, and actually we can balance the grid. There we go. That gives us our five reinforcements. We'll go over here. I have crafted a whole bunch of these. Um, I did six of each. So it was a, a whole load of pig iron surrounded by iron plates, and there's gold and ardite. That took a while to get going. Same as the prismarine and diamond. It was quite a bit of collecting, but we got there in the end. I've applied uh, all four of them to each of the tools, so there's now seven modifiers. Each of these gives one extra. And I'm able to basically put complete reinforcement on there. So if we do this five times, you can see currently it is reinforced 80%. If we put this on, it goes unbreakable, which is exactly what we want. Uh, another thing I want to do to this is add some quartz to it and you'll see it'll add 72 straight away and it increases the attack um, damage. Attack. I'm trying to think of the right word there. Uh, attack damage. Okay. You can see it starts at 568 and every one that you add does actually gradually increase it so it doesn't need to just be in one step. I don't know if you could do in two. But I'm going to add that and then add it again. So we're now at 8, which is a bit better. It's nearly what the diamond sword was doing. So this was 10. This is now 8.03. But with a few more modifiers, I could probably go a bit higher. Um, I just don't have any on here. I need to go and use it for a while. I also want to do the pickaxe. Now, something I would recommend. Let me just grab this, actually. Uh, I only want half of that. Should be enough. Is if you put a block and... Uh, a dust in there, it'll go up a bit easier. Uh, you'll see it actually takes 50. So if you just did blocks, it does 45 at a time. So you'll do five blocks and five uh, dust. And you'll see it'll go from, it should be the speed there, 12.3. What was it before? 5.8. That is a big difference. Wow. And then 17.9. So this should get through things very quickly. Let's just try it on some. I don't think, yeah. Let's say I don't know if it'll work, but that's pretty decent for a pickaxe on some dirt. And if we go into cobble, we should actually get uh, stone from this now. There we go. Auto smelts to stone. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the sort of um, upgrade methods used. I should now have more than enough plates to do all of my tools, which will also, if I do the shuriken quickly. And we can just do this and shift them in balance. Now we get the 20. And here we go. That's three, four, and you should now be unbreakable. And it won't let you do any more than that anyway. But unbreakable shuriken means you can just spam as much as you want. And you'll never run out. You'll see there's no durability left on there. It says unbreakable at the bottom. You can't pick them up now. That's the only problem. And something I did not show you about Shuriken is they actually have a very short range. So if I throw this, you can see how it dropped off at the end there. Uh, I wish I had a bit more space, but 
there's kind of like a, a preset distance that it goes and then it drops down pretty quickly. You see that actually landed on the end there. Even if I throw it further up, you can see it was just past. It might actually be on the edge of this last block. Now it went into the water. But that seems to be the range of a shuriken. So not great for fighting a dragon, for example, which is why I have the the bow instead. But we'll see how it goes. Right, up next, uh, hopefully a trip to the Twilight Forest, but we'll see if we can get that arranged. So I've just gone into the nether in the hopes of sort of ranking up my tools a little bit. I found a couple of wither skeletons and thought I would give a go at trying to get a skull. Uh, I don't know what just popped up down there. With a skull! Not bad, one in three, right? Um, that's without adding any beheading to my cleaver yet. I've just got it as unbreaking. I don't think I've done any other modifications to it. So, yeah! I think we will be killing withers fairly soon. Uh, we just have to find a nice little spot in the nether to do it. And happy days! Back to our regularly scheduled episode. Right, we're back with Zaz. Yeah, carry on, sorry. Cool, so let's go have a look at Twilight Forest. Um, do you remember how to make a portal? Yes. You do. Um, do you know that they've changed them? No. Yeah. So you can do it any shape you want now. Uh, I'm just going to move some stuff around. And as long as you still have the flowers all the way around it, it should work. I don't know if I have to do the corners or not, but I'm going to. Oh, you have water. Thank you. Yeah, and then throw your thing. I'm just going to put a luggage down because he should get hit by lightning. I don't know if this actually still works, but yeah. Um, a source block of water in any shape you want, surrounded by vanilla flowers, and then a diamond thrown in the middle, and boom. Zazra disappeared. There he is. Okay. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Oh, Ooh. luggage! Luggage got increased. Yeah. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know what, oh, carry on. Nearly dead though. Yeah, he's always on one health. Um, I don't know why. But oh, anyone yeah. that doesn't know what luggage is, is he is a portable storage thing, and he follows you around like a little pet. Apparently, I haven't seen him. There we go. Hello. Uh, I think he picks stuff up off the ground as well. There you go. And if you shift right click him, he goes back in your inventory and he keeps everything that he had inside him. He's awesome. I like him. No, he's not awesome. He's creepy as frack. Yes. <laughs> but he's useful. He was, to be fair, he was useful before we had things like backpacks other than forestry ones. Oh, and bags of holding. Well, but. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway. Still creepy though. Still a little bit creepy. Great for mining because you can just leave blocks behind you. But now we have dank canals, so yeah. Oh well. Anyway, uh, you ready to go in? I'm just kind of hoping we're in a safe area. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works that out for you. Oh, I should have brought that warpstone thing. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be so yeah. laggy. Uh, so let's do portal waypoint just so we know where it is. Oh, we're like, oh, so close to like the little mage tower, but we can't go in. It sucks. I want to go in. Uh, you can try and go in. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this one does to you. Uh, no effects yet. So, yeah. Uh, I think the first thing we have to do is get sugar cane and a raven feather. Oh, and we're going to need to find the glow things, whatever those are called. But first things first. I am going to kill a cyan sheep. Oh, I think those Shakira, whatever those things are called, Shakira, what I can't remember what they're called. Chica, that's it. I think they're muted, so we should be okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no pranking with them, unfortunately. So we need to find a hill first, don't we? So I reckon we just go, hold on, hold on, yeah, I think we just go south from the tower. This way. Yeah, because obviously everything's in like a little grid shape. We should hit one if we go in a straight line. 
Uh, we can't go south. Okay. Good stuff. Or is there a... This might be a hill. I think we have a hill. I've lost Sazra. Oh, really? Okay, uh, we have a hill that we can't really go into. Sure. Ooh, squirrel! <laughs> squirrel. Up. Yay! Are you actually shifting? Or is it just the game making it look like you're shifting? You are shifting. <laughs> so weird! What? Okay. There's a spider web tree. Right, um, yeah, so let's find a hill, I guess, that we can actually go into and look out for the raven. Oh, can't go that way either. This is not the best of spawns. Oh, there's deer, if you want to kill one of them. And a bird. I have a... can't go into that one. Oh yeah, hang on, there's range. Oh, it's not a bird, it was a squirrel. I killed two squirrels. And I do like the idea of... Whoopsie. Where's the other deer? There it is. Boom! Girl. Let's get the food, because that's another thing you have to do, is eat the food at some point. Um, anyone watching my video may have just noticed that my saturation just went to like 100%. I don't know when it happened, but it was obviously killing something. Um, yeah, we're kind of like a bit trapped. <gasps> Raven! Raven dead. Cool, I got two feathers. Uh, do you want, oh, I got three feathers. Do you want one? Sure. You because, sugar cane as well? yes, we're going to need a lot of sugar cane. Oh, another birds. Yeah, bird, bird, bird. I don't see any more oh. sugar cane. Uh, there you go. Wait, so, yeah, I'm, I'm like, this could be a good morph collection to have. So, more forest. There's just like forest everywhere. This is not helping. Go. Do those? Do these have any significance? What's that? Well, uh, not that I know of. I think they're pretty much empty all the time. But you can have a quick look. May as well. There's another one here. Uh, that looks empty to me. Nope. Not silent. Yeah, I just heard it. Uh, it's a block, isn't it? So you can't do that. Okay, maybe we'll need to go and change that. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to the top of these, but they've got dungeons in them. Some of them, the trees. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, I kind of want that lapis. Hmm, TPS is 20. Oh, do I have... Yeah, I'm like, why is my vein miner not working? There we go. Oh, there's another raven. Let's get a spare feather, just in case. Oh, enjoy some obsidian. Oh, you're going up to get it. Ah, yeah. I couldn't be bothered. We'll find some, we'll probably find some in a cave or a hill. Um, something hasn't spawned here. <laughs> this is clearly meant to be like a maze or a hydro or something. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, like there should be a maze here. Bunnies! I don't know why I'm trying to collect obsidian, I have loads of it. Right, still no hills though, which means we're gonna have to go a bit further. I think I'm going to cut the recording until we can find one we can actually go into. Otherwise this is gonna be a lot of running around for no reason. Oh! Okay, I found some growberry things, so actually we need those, or glowberries. Oh, and a ball. Hello, let's get rid of... I'm going to kill you. 
Okay, so glowberries. Oh, this is an interesting area. Oh, okay. This is something we can't really go into yet. Uh, can I get some glowberries from here? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to oh, give it a go. Cool, torch fairies, that's what they're called. Okay, no more damage. Hello. Okay. So we have torch berries. Uh, what else did we need? Glowstone. Oh, haha. I have glowstone in here. Yay. There we go. Let's just throw an enchanted book. No, okay. No, it's just a written book. Gotcha. So um, raven's feather, glowstone dust, and a torch berry should give you a magic map focus. And there's the achievement. Oh, I found more sugar cane, so this would be useful. Oh, I just killed a bird trying to collect the sugar cane. Um, so that we have to craft into a map. Pardon? Oh, ball. Yeah. How much sugar cane did you have on you? Only two, sadly. Okay, I have three, so that's five. So we need like four more. Don't know why I didn't think about just bringing some with, but you know, that would have made more sense. For anyone wondering why we're doing it this way, if you go into your advancements, there's a Twilight Portal, a Twilight Forest section, and you have to follow this route to go through it. Um, so we actually need to find a Naga. That is the big thing that we're looking for right now. But, and that gradually unlocks different areas as you're going along. So we're going to hunt around for a Naga, see if we can find one, and we'll be back whenever we do. The map, and we found a Naga. Uh, there's some new blocks in here. Ooh. Spiral stone brick. Interesting. I haven't seen those before. Um, I think someone new is um, doing the, what's it called? Uh, taking over mod development for Twilight Forest. So it must be some of the new stuff they've put in. And actually the shape of the maze is different because this used to just be a kind of square. I wonder if there's like a, an official entrance area or if you have to. No, it's still mine your way in. Right, you ready to do it? Should we go in? Yeah. All right, let's just randomly pick a spot. And... Get rid of some logs. There we go. It should make it a little bit more tricky. Oh, I can hear it. There it is. Oh, okay. So, best thing to do is try and hit the head. Um, but there's a good chance I'm going to kill it before Zazra even gets in here. Oh, he got a shot. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Ow. Shuriken. <laughs> yeah, done. <laughs> and my inventory is full. Okay, I got the ah. trophy. I got the trophy, it's fine. Uh, how did that do for advancements then? It did work. So next thing is the li Lich Tower, which is basically where we uh, came in. Is that head on the floor? See if I can get the, uh, get the achievement. Uh, I thought you had it. Yeah, time to even the scales. Oh. Oh, did you pick up Naga scales? I think that's what normally gives you the thing. Okay. Cool. Right. Um, I think I'm just going to teleport to spawn and then go through the portal again. Unless you want to collect anything here. Yeah, this is definitely different because it never used to have the little like maze type thing to it. I think this is nice. Yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah I, I thought the, uh, uh, the the old one only had, had the walls. Yeah, it was just a big square with the sort of pillars in the middle. And... and, and um. Oh, big cave. Yeah, so I'm going to just teleport to spawn, go clear up my inventory, and then go through the portal again, and we'll be right by the tower instead of having to run our way through this entire gauntlet of area that we were in. That wasn't very fun. All right. Spawn. What 
else? Okay, so I've got like a variety of wood on me. <laughs> I have no idea why there's so much of it. Get rid of all of this. This Trollstein, do we need that for anything? Oh, it makes armor. Oh, it's block armor, that's why. So this is going to be like everything Twilight Forest related. Uh, while I'm here, should we get you some paper as well? Already got it. Okay. Oh, uh, did you get it yours? Oh. Fair enough then. Let's put this in here. Okay, uh, I'm ready to go through the portal again, whenever you are. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what to do with like spawners. Oh. I was going to say, this looks different. I'm inside a tree. Ooh, this will give a... Oh, I can see for miles you made a map, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, this will give you a good idea of what happened with the trees for me and how they look different. I literally just spawned inside it and it's just like a big hollow tree. Um, Find a door or break our way in? Break our way in it is. Cool. First little section should have, I was going to say, books, which normally has a chest in the corner. Let's see if we can find a chest. No chest in the corner. Oh. Well, i got loads of books if you need any. No. Okay, skeleton spawner in here. So again, the real question is like, do we keep the spawners? Um, actually, I'm not that bothered. If we we can get rid of them, can't we? And then just find another one if we really need to. Stone or brick? I'm gonna go opposite side if that's all right. Just in, and see what happens. Uh, also, don't forget there's giant holes in the staircases in random spots. Zombie spawner. Oh, he went... Oh, okay. I was going, like, opposite, but that's fine. Magic book. I got paper for you. <laughs> I got plenty. <laughs> yeah, the book's dropped paper, apparently. So, ah, oh, mini spiders. Swarm spiders, okay. Oh, I didn't realize you got the swarm ones in here. Um, yeah, we can keep that one. I'm just like storming ahead, killing everything, and Saz was like, oh, I'll put torches down. <laughs> Somebody has to buy it for video. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. I keep forgetting because obviously YouTube makes it a little bit darker than it is on my screen. Yeah. Um, well, we're right at the top. So we got lucky with the tower we picked. That's kind of handy. Um, see the spawner? That is going to turn into a lynch thing. Kind of explaining things for people that may have never done this. I'm sure Zazra knows what he's doing. But there is the lynch. I don't know if I can shoot him. No, I can't. So you have to... He shoots like those little ender pearl things at you. And you have to shoot them back at them. Like you would with a ghast. Somebody about got a painting. This is a lot easier when you've actually killed one and you have one you can already send, just like use one of their ones. Oh, he's down to four shields, so we're getting there. Oh, two. <laughs> I can see they're like trying to swing away at him. One more shield and then we can like start attacking him. Come on. Come on. Ah, they keep shooting the ghast things at me. Come on. 
Got him. Let's go. Attack. And... Oh, I'm going to kill minions. Oh, wow. My health is actually a lot lower than I thought it would be. Haven't paid any attention to it. Well, that's you. Oh, oh at least I can't, like... Um, there we go. I got him. I can't, what's it called? I can't sweep attack you <laughs> with the rapier. That's always a good thing. Uh, which things did we get? Bring out Slayer Lynch to chop. Okay, so it should be this, I think, gives you the achievement. Yeah. Advancement. Apologies. Um, I'm going to use my luggage. Oh, and he's going to go pick up some paintings. And. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of stuff in here, just because I don't want it. <laughs> There's a lot of books. <laughs> There's like a lot of books. We don't really need paintings for anything, do we? Um, Gives you an advancement, but that's it. Oh, yeah, I which I feel like I might, I probably already got. I definitely picked up paintings, so that's fine. Did we get it? Oh yeah, we both got it. Okay. So what's next? Uh, I really want to get to the maze and then I'll be sort of happy. Maze? Which is the next one actually. Um, the one with the minotaurs inside it. Oh, right. Yeah. So it should be nearby, but I'm not seeing any on here. I re oh, it's because the map glitched out. I hate these things. Um. Where are we? We're here. So we want to go just north of where we are. Should get us to it. Just have to get down here first. Now, like the, the tower has actually got a whole bunch of little like outshoots you can do go down and has extra things inside them. Quite useful. Um, I'm not really... I want to do this as quick as I can. So I'm not going to explore them too much. Here we go. I tried, um, I was playing a mod pack. I can't remember which one. It was a survival one. Uh, Modern Skyblock 2, I think. And I took the skeleton spawners from here into the nether to try and get wither skeletons. Yeah, it didn't work. So I don't know what they did, but there's no way to get wither skeletons in that pack. Like, no cheesy way, at least. But, so north is past the tower. Let's see if we can get a maze. I will walk a bit slower. So let me know if you see it. Wow, my pick gets through leaves quick. Whee! Sorry. <laughs> um, has this deer got googly eyes on it for you, by any chance? Uh, yeah, not completely in the right <laughs> location. Though. Googly chins. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Uh, earrings. Yeah, uh, they're almost as bad as like oh, the, one. yeah, it's kind of like the horses. Uh, I think they're quite funny because they're on the backside instead. So we think we may have found another maze. Uh, we've just got to get to this tower and then head north up this way, kind of past the giant tree on your left. Uh, we don't know if this is going to, ha oh, there's more than one here as well. This could be the wrong one then. Ooh. Let's see, can we go into this area? We can. I think. Okay, no problems yet. Loads of sugar cane, which is good. Thanks. Oh, there's gonna be more. Ah, oh, the hell you went, but... Uh, I'm just getting some sugar cane quickly and having a sneezing fit off camera. <laughs> um... So, where are you? Uh, we should be... I'm at a hedge, I'm at a hedge oh. maze. Yeah, 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 I'm getting there. Oh, it's a hedge mage. Maze. Yeah. Oh, so that's not what we're looking for. That makes sense while it was a big open... Oh, no, I found one. I found it. 
Um, so where are you is the question. Can I see on the large map? No, I can't. Yeah, if you go to just directly north of the tower, just keep going. Um, there's like a really, there's a two giant trees north of it. It's at the second giant tree. If that makes any sense. Here it is. Big maze right behind me, like hidden in a hill. Uh, maze stone. I'm just going to like stand here for five minutes trying to mine this because this should give really, really good armor. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need to stand there, did you? Oh, I'm going to get another torchberry uh, while it's there. There we go. Cool. So is this the one that gives armor? Oh, it gives like normal. Okay, that's not the stuff we need. Maystone brick. I wonder if that's the one we need. Actually, I could just look it up, couldn't I? Maze. Um, yeah, maystone brick. That's the one that we want. Let's grab some of this. Damn it! All right. <laughs> you just cancelled my mining. <laughs> Fell down. That's all right. There we go. Okay, maystone brick. And I don't have any wood again because I threw it all away, didn't I? Uh, let's see um, if decorative maystone. Now you, you also demolished our way down. Ah, uh, we can still put more um, items down, can't we? Blocks, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, okay, I just need to get some wood so I can make a crafting table. Oh, and if we do this, I want to replace my helmet. Oh, so it doesn't work on that one. Okay, uh, let's use this one. Yeah. There we go. So this is basically like obsidian plus one, except it doesn't have fire protection. So if you would like, here is a helmet. And I'm just going to sort some of my stuff out quick. Well, Zajra randomly collects a whole bunch of, uh, what's it called? Gravel? Right, uh, I'm pretty much ready to go down, I think. How about yourself? Um, I was just curious how you wanted to do that. This should do the job, wouldn't it? Uh oh. I went one too far. Yeah, I think I have a away. Oh, okay. Right, and luckily I've got loads of paper, so we can make maps whenever we get down here. I need to take it away. I hate doing these things. <sighs> Mazes. So, uh, what if we did like... Uh, sorry, I'm like a million miles away in journey map, paying no attention to anything here. Um, if we did like this, and then... I'm trying to cheat in journey map, see if it'll work. No, it's not going to work. Nah, it doesn't really work. You can kind of see the map on Journey Map, but not very well. But I reckon... Oh, there's a little beetle coming off there. He's dead. Uh, I'm just going to record little snippets of this because it is basically just a big maze that we've got to run around. Um, I do kind of want to find some maze slimes at some point as well, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to try the just stick to the right hand ball technique. What do you think? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, cool. Oh, there's a slimy beetle. He dead. And a bat, dead. I like my shuriken. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> so we found a room. Um, it does, if you look very closely on the floor, you can see there's like tripwire down there. Oh, I can't zoom in. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Zoom opens up a crafting table for me now. One of these pieces of, of thing does that. I don't know which one. So we have to be like extra careful not to um, have anything land on the string. And I think... Oh, let's check the chest first. 
Uh, mushroom stew. I'm going to take the iron wood. I don't know if you care about anything in there. And we should be able to break that. Uh, break that. There we go. Get the rest if you want. I'm good. I'm going to take the TNT though. Bombs away. There you go. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Yeah, so you got to be extra careful of these rooms every now and again. They're not always booby trapped, but the ones that are do go bang pretty well, actually. Make big holes in areas that they really shouldn't. Back to maze? Exploring? Beetle? Ah, oh, creeper. Hey, hey! See, if I got someone with me, they don't go boom. Yay! Hey, slime! Has a quick maze slime. Oh, he did. I wanted to, I wanted to like, just record him. They're cute and grey. Have you seen the texture changed recently? So they actually have, like, a maze in them now. He did. It's fine. Uh, if we find a bigger one, it's a bit easier. Ooh, he has a... Oh, there's a big one and some minotaurs. Hey, hey, I got full hunger. Yay. Here's the giant slime. Well, not really giant. This is still a medium. But I think their texture is really nice. It's better than the vanilla one, if you ask me. And they do sometimes drop... Hey, you just dropped on there. These charm of keeping. So if you get... Uh, is it four times four? So like 16 of them. You can craft like level two and then level three. And if you die, you keep all of your items in your inventory. Really useful. <laughs> so we found a way down. Um, should we go? Okay, yeah, do it the safe way. Uh, let me just clear up a little bit and try not to kill you. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there were. That's why I was like shooting down before we jumped down. Oh, the game is lagging ever so slightly. Oh, there's more. Okay. Right, so with these mazes, you have to actually go down at least one level before you'll get the, like, boss for this area. So I didn't want to shoot and kill you. Um, I think maybe building a maze for this level might be a good idea, because we need to find multiple things down here. What do you think? Oh, there's another guy behind you. Ow. Do you want to make? Should we make one of the map mazes down here? Oh, there's a lot of little chests. Wow, this is just like bonus heaven. Um, sorry, being distracted. That's great. There's a potion of instant health. Don't really care about that. Oh, I'll take the charm. And I wanted to explore this one quick. Coal and lots of paper. Charm. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, more coal. I didn't even see that. I'm gonna make a map down here. Let's just get a crafting table first. I don't have one. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll take a maze focus and wrap that in paper. Gets us a maze map this time around instead of like a twilight forest one. Um, do you want your crafting table back? Sure. Give me a second. Let's got to get rid of some stuff. There we go. Uh, crafting table. Okay, so blank map. Let's have a look at this one. Well, all the way at the north of it. Now, you do have to discover this to actually find where you're going, which is a bit disappointing. Um, if we should we split up again? I'm gonna just run around the edge and see if I can find the bonus room as well. If you wanna explore your own bits and if we see anything we'll meet up again. Drop that. Pardon? Drop the map. Oh. Oh, was there an advancement for it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, fair enough. Good stuff. Oh, apparently this is the labyrinth. God. 
quick look. Yeah, so I'm gonna run around, uh, I think you are as well, and we'll meet up wherever we can find something. Yeah. So I think there's a chance that the secret, like, maze breaker room is behind this wall. Um, I'm gonna or excavate it and see if we get anything. If it is, there's a good chance there's a whole load of TNT in there as well. Awesome, there it goes. Ah, oh, I couldn't get it. Okay, note to self, do not use or excavator to get into that room. Um, those are wooden pressure plates. I even saw the maze breaker, but couldn't get to it in time. Really annoying. Hi! <laughs> you found it too. <laughs> okay, we found him. This is going to be the boss. Uh, my general technique is like, cheaty cheaty. Just hit him through here. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Shuriken for the win. Oh no. Ah. I don't want Meef Stroganoff. There we go. There's some Meef Stroganoff for you. Oh. Did you get the giant axe? I don't get a giant axe. Oh, I've got another maze focus, but I have like nowhere to put it. Uh, steel leaf is full. There's mycelium there if you need some. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, did you get his axe? His diamond? Oh no, I've got it. Never mind. Okay. I was looking for a gold one and then I realized it's actually diamond. Um, We didn't get an advancement there. What is it? Meat treasure. Okay. Is it to eat the Meef Stroganoff, maybe? I'm just going to put a whole bunch of stuff away again. So I'm going to need to take uh, some form of hunger. Uh, where's my pickaxe? There. Yeah, pick up the mycelium while we're here. And destroy all the torches. Uh, okay. How do we get hungry quickly? Um. Oh, I've got a... I have an idea. If we take this and this all. Oh, I thought I would have lost my hearts. Apparently you don't by taking the armor off. Oh, yeah, there we go. That did it. Putting it back on. There we go. Okay, so that is what we have to do. Is that the right advancement is the question. It was! So, Hydra next. But I think I'll leave that for next episode. What do you think? Sure. I think that's been enough recording for today. Um, I've got the maze armor, which is actually a big thing of why I wanted to come down here. And plenty enough blocks to make some more. 936 of them. <laughs> Should be enough. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's only 450 durability, though. It's actually a lot lower than I thought it would be. Oh, you got a bunch of them. Um, yeah, so I might see if I can get... Oh, what's the plus for? Interesting. Oh, the effects. Okay. Yeah, I might start working towards the obsidian... Uh, not obsidian. Bedrock armor instead. It does the same, like, per perks, but it's unbreakable. Which sounds pretty good to me. But that's going to take a long time and a whole nother episode. So I hope you've enjoyed the running through Twilight Forest for today. Um, we'll probably be back. I don't know when we'll do the next part of it. Are we going to do that now or should we go do something else? Um, well, I guess we could do, uh, do another one. Okay, so do a double recording. So we'll catch you next week and see what happens. Take care. Bye-bye.